Engineering Computing Academy of Science and Technology The Contemporary World Group members contributed to the content of the research. History of Islam researcher Evelyn Itliong In what ways is it engaged in politics? Why did its leaders decide to involve in politics? Researcher Lorena Castillo Muhammad researcher Princess Juliana Tambo Koran researcher Jimmy Alvarez Imam researcher Julian Valery Marcelino Mecca researcher Jasmine Juliana Orsino Imam's duty researcher Cassandra Nayal Caliphate researcher Lawrence Villanueva Rules of Imam's researcher Val Eric Cabanilla The Religion's Concept of God researcher Mark G. Siran The Religion's Concept of Evil researcher Cian Angelo Espino The Steps Needed by a Person to Become Good and Prevent Herself Himself from Becoming Evil researcher Mark Lester Valdez What religion are you in? Divide yourselves into groups Each group must be assigned one religion, Buddhism, Judaism, Islam, etc. Surf, surf the web and research the history of the religion. Then describe the following. A. The religion's concept of God. B. The religion's concept of evil. C. The, concept, the steps needed by a person to become good and prevent herself or himself from becoming evil. Afterwards, conduct research on your assigned religion relationship with politics, if any. In what ways is it engaged in politics? Why did its leaders decide to involve in politics? History of Islam Islam, major world religion founded by Muhammad in Arabia in the early 7th century CE. The, is the Arabic word Islam means surrender, specifically surrender to the will of one God called Allah in Arabic. Islam is a strictly monotheistic religion and its adherents called Muslims regard the Prophet Muhammad as the last and most perfect of God's messengers, who include Adam, Abraham, Moses, Jesus and others. The sacred scripture of Islam is the Quran, which contains God's revelation to Muhammad in Arabia in the early 7th century CE. This is Muhammad in the year 570 to 632 is a postograph of Granger which was uploaded on July 1, 2012. The sacred scripture of Islam is the Quran, which contains God's revelations to Muhammad. The sayings and deeds of prof the Prophet recounted in the Sona are also an important source of belief and practice in Islam. The religious obligations of all Muslims are summed up in the five pillars of Islam which include belief in God and His Prophet and obligations of prayer, charity, pilgrimage, and fasting. This is Quran with illum illuminated manuscript pages featuring ink gold and lapis late 18th and early 19th century. Imam The fundamental concept of Islam is the Sharia, its law, which embraces the total way of life commanded by God. Observant Muslims pray five times a day and join in community worship on Fridays at the mosque, where worship is led by, the, by an imam. An imam is selected at the community level. Members of the community choose someone who is considered knowledgeable and wise. The imam should know and understand the Quran and be able to recite it correctly and beautifully. 
The imam is a respected member of the community. In some communities, an imam may be specifically recruited and hired and may have undergone some special training. In other smaller cities, imams are often chosen from among the existing members of the Muslim community. There is no universal governing body to supervise imams. This is done at the community level. This is this picture taken by David Sil Silverman and the Gritty Images. An Imam's Duty and the Mecca. The primary responsibility of an Imam is to lead Islamic worship services. In fact, the word Imam itself means to stand in front of in Arabic referring to the placement of the Imam in front of the worshippers during prayer. The Imam recites the verses and words of prayer either aloud or silently depending on the prayer and the people follow his movements during the service he stands facing away from the worshippers towards the direction of mecca for each of the five daily prayers the imam is present at the mosque to lead the prayers on friday the imam also usually delivers the khutbah or sermon the Imam may also lead the Tarawih or nightly prayers during Ramadan, either alone or with a partner to share the duty. The Imam also leads all the special prayers such as the funerals, for rain, during an eclipse, and more. This is the Kaaba Mecca. The Rules Imam's Service in the Community in addition to being a prayer leader, the imam may also serve as a member of the, the larger leadership team in a Muslim community. As a respected member of the community, the imam's counseling may be sought in personal or religious matters. One may ask him for spiritual advice, help with a family issue, or in other times of need. The imam may be involved in visiting the sick, engaging in interfaith service programs, officiating marriages, and organizing educational gatherings in the mosque. In modern times, the imam is increasingly able to educate and reform youth away from radical or extremist viewpoints. Imams reach out to youth, inspire them in political pursuits, and teach them the correct understanding of Islam in the hopes that they will not fall prey to misguided teachings and resort, resort to violence. Every believer is required to make a pilgrimage to Mecca, the holiest city, at least once in a lifetime. Barring, a poverty, barring poverty or physical incapacity, the month of Ramadan is set aside for fasting, alcohol, and pork are always forbidden as are gambling and shuri fraud slander and the making of images in addition to idol fitr which celebrates the breaking of the fast of ramadan muslims celebrate muhammad's birthday and his as accession to into heaven idol adha inaugurates the seasons of pilgrimage to mecca Divisions occurred early in Islam, brought about by disputes over the succession to the Caliphate. This is Caliphate. Caliphate is a political religious state compromising the Muslim community and the lands and peoples under its dominion in the centuries following the death of the Prophet Muhammad. The word stems from the Arabic Khalifa, meaning successor. Caliphate is the rule of reign of a caliph or chief Muslim ruler. The caliph is a spiritual leader of Islam who claims succession from Muhammad. Most Muslims belong to the Sunni branch. The Shiites broke away in the 7th century 
and later gave rise to other sects, including the Ismailis. Another significant element in Islam is the mysticism known as Sufism. From the 19th century, the concept of the Islamic community inspired Muslims to cast off Western colonial rule. And in the late 20th century, fundamentalist movements treated or toppled several secular Middle Eastern governments. In the early 21st century, there were more than 1.2 billion Muslims in the world. The Religion's Concept of God So we say that when the very first man was created, Adam and when he was sent to on earth, God gave him the mission, go and tell your progeny that they should not worship idols, animals, or any other creation. They should only worship the Creator. So as humanity was increasing all over the world, it says in the glorious Quran, in Sora and now 16 verse 36, that God appointed messengers and prophets to all the world, and their mission was just one, to invite people to the worship of one God, submission to the one Creator, so that submission to the one creator in Arabic is Islam. So we say every single prophet, every single messenger, going back all the way to the very first human, their message was peace and submission to one God. In Arabic, that's Islam. The religious concept of God, the concept of God that Islam preaches, Muslims say that God the one creator, he is Allah. They are not worshipping a different God. In fact, he is the same God with Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and all the prophets. In Arabic, they say his name as, as is Allah. In the Hebrew language, they refer to him and say Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, because different languages have different names for God. In Spanish, it is Dios. In English, it is God. In Jesus' language, he did not say that the word Jehovah. He never used the word, the word by the way. Muslims believe their creator, Allah, is merciful. He is forgiving, he is eternal, he is independent, he is powerful, he is a loving creator. So, for the love of humanity, he wants to guide humanity. Islam says to guide humanity, Allah himself did not become a human. He appointed from the people messengers and prophets and gave them the rule that they should go and convey the message of Islam, the message of peace to the world, to the whole world, you, to the whole humanity. The religion's concept of evil. The notions of God and evil are central to almost every religion and Islam is no different. Muslims believe that evil is a result of the interference of shaitan, the Arabic word for devil. Shaitan tempts humans to choose evil and a moral Muslim must use his instinct to make the right choice. Islam shared origin with Judaism and Christianity results in a similar story about the origin of evil in the world, but it differs in many key ways from Jewish and Christian teachings. In Islam, the devil who is sometimes called Iblis and sometimes Shaitan rebels against God after the creation of humanity. When God orders all spirit to bow down to Adam, the devil refuses and God rejects him until judgment day. From that beginning, the devil promised to tempt humanity with evil and torn them away from God's path. No matter how severe the sin, Islam teaches that individuals can receive forgiveness from God with sincere repentance. Evil is the result of human choices, but forgiveness is a virtue of God and therefore much greater. Furthermore, God is merciful and if Muslims expect to receive forgiveness for their own sins, they must themselves show mercy. This means that no evil can be so great 
that an individual cannot receive forgiveness and mercy so that he may return to a moral path. The steps needed by a person to become good and prevent herself or himself from becoming evil. Our natural instinct can help us choose between good and evil. The teaching of Islam help individuals further differentiate between these two. Islam preaches the virtues of justice, mercy, and forgiveness. In order to achieve a moral life in line with the preaching of the holy text, the Quran, in other, in the other hand, the 70 major sins of Islam, such as worshipping other beings as the equal of God, committing murder or failing to pray, are sources of evil. In what ways is it engaged in politics? Why did its leaders decide to involve in politics? Islam was political from the beginning. It sprang from a power struggle between the Hashemids and the Umayyads, and the Prophet was not just a religious figure, but also a statesman, military commander, and all-powerful king. The Caliphs follow the same pattern until today. If you read the Quran, you will see that the text is more like a legal code than a spiritual guidebook. So, in Islamic countries, it is nearly impossible to separate religion from politics. As Quran says, the kafir of one who rules according to other than what Allah revealed. That means you can only lead a country if you follow Sharia, and if you do not, you are a kufar. Islam would always be political in that atmosphere, and Muslims would always advocate for Sharia. Muslims all around the world express strong support for democracy and the freedom of other faiths to practice their religion. At the same time, many Muslims believe religious leaders should have a say in pol political concerns and, re and regard Islamic political parties as equal to or better than other political parties.